Hello there everybody, Myth here again, and we are on the beta servers today. We are going to go down here and we're going to check out some stuff at the Dark Moon Fair. So, yeah, apparently the Dark Moon Fair has had a few changes, and I have not checked them out yet. There's a race and some other kind of flying thing. So, we're going to we're going to try those. We're going to try those out real quick. Make a video about it. This is a uh, Oh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really I do need to buy some tickets to, to get into anything here. So, let's go ahead and get some tickets. Or tokens. Give me the big one. What? Uh, this character doesn't have any money. I don't know why I made a character that doesn't have any money. That's weird. Alright, so, open that. Alright, so, Firebird's Challenge. Alright, so, how do I play? Hand over a game token and I'll strap one of our newfangled Firebird class fireworks to your back. You'll be launched high up in the air and sprout wings of flame. And here's the tricky part, you only have 10 seconds of flight and there are a bunch of fire rings scattered around. Each ring you pass through will count towards your total of collected rings and most importantly give you another 10 seconds of flight. Collect 15 rings and the prizes are yours. So, yeah. It's essentially supposed to be like, um, what's that, boss in Firelands? Alice Razor? I had to think about how to pronounce it. So, let me get out of this form because I'm don't. i not sure what will happen. But, so, yeah, here goes nothing. Oh, what? Uh, okay, there's rings. Oh god, it's Superman 64, what the heck? Uh... Oh, there are rings all over the place. This looks fun. It does not add that time, does it? No. The rings are... Oh! Too far away! Too far away! Go to the closer ring. Alright. Uh... Well, so far so good. Looking at my time. Let's go... I think we can make that one. Yeah? Alright. Eight. There's one down here. <laughs> Where do we land once we get done? Uh, flying high. I collected ten of them. I guess that's an achievement. Um, crap, crap. Let's see if we can't find some down here. There we go. I'm not sure why there's rings down here, but okay. We'll go ahead and grab these while we're flying around. Oh, I could have hit that one, but I didn't. I didn't hit it. Uh, oops. So you can control the up and down. I need one more ring, and it'll, it'll be over. We'll just get this one here. Oh no! No! I was almost there. That's not fair. <laughs> I got the... I got to, uh... 15 rings. Sneaky. Sneaky. So I get to do one more ring, and then I guess I've completed it. So, go ahead. I'm ready. Send me up. So the rings don't appear until you actually... Yeah, there we go. So let's see how many rings we can get. Just out of curiosity, because the time limit is really based on how quickly you can get to the next ring. Uh, there's one down here. So yeah, there's that. There's another one here. Okay, let's go up here. There's some bunch of rings up here. It looks like. So yeah, this is basically Alice Razor the game grab a bunch of these and it does really don't stack past 10 seconds so you got to be fast to get to the next one so oh but we do have a buff that tells me how many we've got all together gather as many as possible okay so if you're count I guess you can like count down 10 seconds after you go through a ring and then you got to get to another ring so hopefully we can make it to this one before time is up I really want to know if, like, you coast through a ring, do you still get it, you know? So we've got 15, so I've got 16 legit. So, it can be done. Can be done, you just have to be fast about it. 
And I'm not sure if there's like a, a course through all these, but you can make your own, I suppose. So we're up to 21. Doing pretty good. I don't see another one over here. Crap. I don't think we're gonna... Oh, there's one down here. We can make it. We can make it. I see like parts of the other, the other race are down there. I don't know if we can make this one. We might not make it. Oh, we did. We did make it. That's great. Ringmaster. Okay, so there's achievements based on how many rings you can get through. I'm just going to keep going through them. <laughs> See how many I can get. This is pretty good. Pretty good. I like this, though. This is actually fun. I was really... I really liked the Alice Razor fight because I was good at this. Probably... I probably should pick up Superman 64 at some point and try it out. <laughs> I might be good at it. So we're at 32. People are probably like, oh, I'll never be able to do that. Get that many rings, but you can. You can do it. You just need practice. Practice and eye for where the next one is. So yeah, 36 and I don't see any more. Okay, yeah. I don't see any more rings. I think we're just going to land. What happens if you just land? Oh, so if you land on the ground. Okay. Oh, after it runs out, you have slow fall for about 30 seconds. So that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we get some money here. <laughs> nope. No experience. Just a Dark Moon game prize. Anything cool in the game prize? One ticket. All right. Uh-huh. Also, for anyone who wants to know if there's a third achievement, there's also an achievement for collecting 50 blazing rings in one flight session of Firebird's challenge called Brood of Alice Razor. So, I don't think you get a, a mount for it. That would be cool, but you don't. But you do get an achievement, which is worth 30 points. That's good enough, right? Anyway, this is Maeth, and I will catch you in a future video. Have a good evening.